y'all it's your girl schoolboy back with another video and before we get started we're gonna take care of some quick housekeeping real quick what i need y'all to do is like comment and subscribe and bang the notification bell button make sure when y'all click on it you go up to all notifications that way anytime i go live or um uh, drop a new video y'all can get that as soon as it comes out also, there are links to get some of the t-shirts that I'm wearing on the show, excuse me, on the live, on the live panel at night through the Maniacs uh, Clothing Company. Uh, those links are down below as well. I also have a new line actually coming out with them. I'm waiting on the shipment to come in this week so that I can take pictures and I can add them as well. Maybe do like a little video of me wearing the different items um and drop that and we will keep the links down below we will also have a promotion going on so we got big things coming on up in march y'all keep it peeled out but if y'all want the shirts that i currently have been wearing on the show then those links are down below in the description box so let's go ahead and get into it so today i'm gonna talk about a little bit about uh <laughs> kelvin hunter he posts a picture on Valentine's Day of him and Sharina and their hands and they're holding hands. And um, long story short, a fan's basically going at him saying that, you know, he's wrong and he shouldn't post this stuff. And he ain't going to want to scrutiny me in the comments. And she's in the, this person's in the comments laughing, da, 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 da. And, you know, basically he gave her a little sweet clap back and like, shit. <laughs> I was back there back in the day when um, she had issues with, um, puffy and trying to out him and and <laughs> and all of that and i and i've been 10 toes down for whitney to help her get to where she is today so whether i open this damn business or not y'all kiss my ass so basically that's what he basically told everybody um and i and i just want to say this <laughs> the reason why i just want to talk about this because i find it it's so crazy people have been so um wanting to jump down uh his throat more or less, and basically say, you know, oh, he's wrong for getting a house and, you know, living down in Florida and having all these businesses. First of all, Kevin was always a street hustler and a thug. Wendy knew exactly the type of man that she was dealing with. She got with him. Now, mind you, this 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 uh damn uh, affair and her him cheating on her, this shit's been going on for 13 years, okay? The main issue that Wendy probably, you know, stayed and freaking dealt with was because at the end of the day, he did handle good business for her. He's helped her get to where she is today. Um, and also as well, he might have been a flaw-ass husband, but he was a good businessman and he helped build her empire. Um, and when Wendy's a woman, shit. There has been many of people that we have had in our families that have stayed with a no good ninja and they have stayed and stayed and stayed and stayed and stayed and stayed and stayed, and stayed okay? And, and a lot of them knew the man was cheating, knew he had a family across town. But at the end of the day, they didn't want, you know, uh, but having a piece of man was better than having no man at all. And so that's why they stayed. Um, in my honest opinion, and I've said this before, and I've said it on the panel several times. Um, Wendy wouldn't have left that man. <laughs> Page six made Wendy leave and Daily Mail made Wendy leave that man because straight up. Straight up, they had PIs. They were looking at this man. Sharina was living the life. Sharina ended up being pregnant. She probably and and allegedly she got rid of several other children. You know she had been pregnant before several times, and this time Sharina said, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna keep the child." Um, and so, at, and people need to break down and realize this: men only do what women allow vice versa women only are allowed to do what men allow them to do so at the same time it was an even exchange he was helping wendy make long-term business deals as well as capitalizing and having his side piece and wendy was just like well having a piece of man is better than not having no man at all it just got to a point where she started becoming more of the hot topic and people was more questioning you know what the hell going on in your shit you up here blasting everybody else and and you your husband he out here fool out line in in doing what he want to do i think people need to understand you got to take it out from a context of them being rich and being celebrities and if you put them in a regular degular schmegular situation he would she would be no different than the woman down the street that's going through the same thing with a man he cheated he continued to cheat she stayed oh well you know 
She paid him off. He got paid. And if he want to go out here and take Wendy money, go buy grills. Because I seen he had a grill in uh, full of diamonds. If he want to go <laughs> open multiple restaurants, he's allowed to do that. Because guess what? Free press and promotion. Because he's always going to get free press and promotion. Whether it's good or bad from his uh, ex-wife. Because she's still on TV crying about this man. Okay? She's still crying about this man. And then on top of that, let's be real. People are going to go to these restaurants because they're going to want to know for curiosity is the fucking food good and to be nosy just to see if they might see a glimpse of Sharina or that baby or anything. That's what they want to go to the restaurant to see and to judge it. People are going to go. So I think it's kind of stupid for people to be in the comments talking about, you know, well, he, he out here spending Wendy money. Okay. Wendy paid him off. To get him out of her business deals. And that's it. It was going to have to come down to that. And if he invested it right and flipped it right like a good hustling thug, he's all right. But I guarantee you, if any point in time he want to come over there and get that kitty cat, Wendy going to give it to him. So y'all just need to go on and get out that man comments and quit trying to give him the smoke. And basically, at the end of the, the, little, the little comment that I seen, it basically was like, okay, yeah, you're talking shit, but and. I don't care. And, you know, so he gives zero about what y'all feel about him. So, you know, I, <laughs> I just wanted to briefly do a quick video on this and touch on this because I thought the shit was funny, actually. Um, on God, the man don't give a damn about what y'all say. So y'all stop getting puffed up in your chest and, and the man don't care. He basically told y'all that. So, hey, leave the shit alone. Because, hell, Wendy ain't paying none of y'all bills. So sitting up here defending her for what? With a man she stayed with 13 years and knew he was cheating. She didn't care until she became the hot topic. I'm just saying. Think about it. <laughs> it's your girl, Schoolwood, and I'm out. I will see y'all in the next video.